Hello and welcome to this Learn Learn Python tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can delete items from SQLite tables and databases using Python. So here I've got DB Browser open, this is just to show you some examples. I'm connected to test1.db and I'm currently looking at the contacts table. Now there's five people here but I'm no longer friends with Fred so I want to delete Fred. How do we do that? Well, let me show you. For this example, we'll use the command line, but obviously you can use this in your Python programs. To get to the command line in Windows, right-click on your Start menu, choose Command Prompt. In Linux, obviously, just open Terminal, and then navigate to the correct folder. Now, I can see I'm in the correct folder now because that says test1.db. And that's where I'm connected to test1.db. And I'll just open up Python. Good. Make a bit of space for us. So the first thing we want to do is we want to import SQLite 3. Because that's the module that contains all the code to connect to the database, etc. Then we connect a create a connection to our database. just like that. Be careful that you put the correct name in because if you put the incorrect name into the file it will not throw an error it will just carry on and it will just create a new file called whatever you just called it and then later on when you try to delete something it will say hang on a minute the contacts table doesn't exist and you'll get really confused. Then what we do is we create a cursor because the cursor object is what we use to execute the commands. So there you go. So we've now created a cursor object. So let's have a look. Who do we want to delete? Well, we want to delete Fred. Now we could do uh, an SQL saying delete star from um, delete from contacts where name equals Fred. We could do that. But there's a problem because if we do do that, anybody called Fred, if I had three or four people called Fred, it would delete all of the Freds. So we don't want to use that. What we want to do is we want to use his row ID here. Uh, and Fred's row ID is three. So what I do here is I say, okay, uh, uh, row ID, uh, row equals three. So that's the item we want to do. And then we need to add that row to a tuple. Now this uh, tuple, this particular tuple is only going to have one item in it because we're just doing a delete. There's nothing particularly clever about it. It only needs one item. So make sure after you've typed in the first, the name of the thing, like the row here, that you do a comma. Otherwise, it won't create a tuple and it will create us a problem down the line. Then all we have to do is we need to do a c.execute and delete from contacts where row ID equals, and this is the clever bit. What we do now is we do row ID equals question mark, close the speech marks, there we go. Oh no, don't do that, let's just do that first. So close the end of the uh, statement, then close the speech mark, and then do entry. And what this does is at runtime, as soon as I press enter, it swaps out that question mark for the row uh, which is three. There we go. And that's done. If it says something like that, it's done. If it says something else, the chances are you've done an incorrect um, statement. Just check your syntax. Check you're not making any spelling mistakes. And it's as simple as that. So what we do, however, we need to do is we need to do a con dot, uh, sorry, db dot commit, which is the SQLite version of save. There you go. So it's now committed to the database. And you can see it here, because if we go back and go back there, Fred, goodbye, Fred, you're gone. There we go. Brilliant. That's all done. Nice and short, that one. Uh, if you do like the tutorials, then uh, do subscribe. And if you've got any questions whatsoever, just drop a comment in the YouTube comments box. Thank you very much.